I personally was a boy, and I know that all boys are perverts. You was fucked up. Every boy is fucked I'm up. I'm so sorry for that word, but he was... Every boy he is was... fucked up. Every boy is fucked up. All they want to do is take their car and park it in somebody's garage. So guys, welcome back to Six Kids and a Husband. I am the husband, Louis, and this is my beautiful wife. Drea? Why are you smiling like that? You told me to look happy. Yeah, I didn't say look psycho. Okay. Um, today we are doing a different type of video. What we are trying is something new. Yeah. Um, he don't tell me. I'm just have to. I just have to sit here and wait for what he say. Can't even. I don't know. What what, what are we doing? <laughs> because I like your reactions. We are. First off, I have to say that this is not my um, idea for a video. I actually got this idea from a um, up and coming channel called The Neils Next Door, where they pretty. Much <laughs> what the fuck is that? Where they pretty much talked about the difference in opinions from mothers and fathers over different oh, topics you about really kids. You really want to go down that road? Yeah. Why not? And um, mm. as you guys know, we have six kids with a That's seventh. like sunlight and midnight shadow. With a seventh on the way. And um, we pretty much have different... We don't fight. Well, we fight a lot. But the number one thing that we fight I over... I wouldn't even call it fighting. It's discussing. But he too stupid to realize that there's a difference between a fight and a discussion. Okay, we don't discuss over much things. Like, we never discussed over no, money. because you don't answer. <laughs> we never... I start a discussion and I want an answer. And he run off and tell me... <laughs> We never had a discussion really over money, like the basic stuff that people have nah, discussion over. Up on that. <laughs> money or cheating I gave up on that. or any vice. We don't have savings in the bank. We <laughs> save in shoes. Anyway, <laughs> as I was trying to say before, I was really interrupted by my wife, Andrea. We don't really have the normal discussions of being married, like over money or cheating or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But our number one discussion He knows fights. the pressure box is home. Yes, I do. Yeah. Our number one discussion or fight, as I say, is over our kids because, like Andrea said, she is daylight. Good cop. <laughs> and I'm always the bad cop. Which about bad cop? Most of the time, I'm the reason why I'm the bad cop is because I know our role. Impatience and rude. No, I know our roles in the family. My role as the father is to He's be the, the dictator. Discipline. As his mother said. It's the one to give out the discipline, and I take on more discipline to make you seem more nice. Is Not more true. nice right to make you seem nicer? Anyway, we are digressing. You know what that means? <laughs> we getting over, off the point. Today, we are going to talk about, in our first mother versus father discussion, we are going to talk about boyfriends. Oh. Because if you guys don't know, and if you don't then know, you, you know. Sorry. <laughs> then you should subscribe. Hit that subscribe button down there. Click that. But, That's um, my titties. You just pointed below my her titties. breast. Below her breasts. That's where you or are they is. or are they hanging? No. They're actually pretty big and what up the right fuck? now, but <laughs> anyway, hit that subscribe button because we have six kids and four of our kids are preteens or teenagers. So one of the major topics in the house is boys. Some are more boy crazy, some are a little bit less boy crazy. Nah, they just don't tell him. Yeah, and but we both have different opinions about boyfriends. Um I was a boy. And I know that all boys are perverts. You was fucked up. Every boy is fucked I'm up. I'm so sorry for that word, but he was... Every boy he is was... fucked Every boy is fucked up. All they want to do is take their car and park it in somebody's garage. That's yeah, all they want to do. the H.U. park. Yes. That's when most don't even have a license. That's when most don't even know that their car exists. And that's the problem. She thinks that all boys are these angels sent down from heaven. Not at who, all. Who want to go take our daughters out and buy them ice cream and talk about life and ask no, about that. No, but I'm pretty no, sure an eight-year-old boy don't want to stick his wee-wee into the pom-pom. We're not talking about eight-year-old boys. Our youngest, oldest daughter is 11. That's the time that people start. No. Comment below if you believe that kids start between 11 and 12 years old with looking, with um, exploring their sexuality. Maybe a little kissy kissy. A kissy kissy? No, maybe a little finger bang. That's the problem. <laughs> What's wrong with that's, you? <laughs> that's, that's the problem. No. 11 year olds. Okay, these are our kids. <clears throat> Antonella is 11, Ashley is 12, Aliyah is 13, and Samir is 14. 11, she starts to get curious about what a penis looks like or what it feels like or Which anything that's normal. like yes that's that's but normal but that doesn't mean you do it i didn't say that they do i said 11 starts to finger banging 14 they don't do finger banging how you know i was a girl and you were weird 
Why was I weird? When did you first have sex? Was 15. Samir is 14. Ali is 13. It's right around the corner. Some people yeah, started. Maybe at, with Samira. Some people started at 15. Some people started at 14. <laughs> some people started at 11. We got four girls. Somebody in there is trying to do something that they should not be doing until they're about 45 years old and married for 20 years and I'm dead already. But anyway, this is the point of the video. I believe <laughs> that all boys are perverts. All they want to do is stick their penis into. That's weird to say. They want to park their car into my mm -hmm. daughter's garage. And the garage to be closed. Until somebody buys the garage. How you want to close the garage? I can't. I know that. I can't do anything about it. If my daughter wants to go out and let some dude park his freaking Cadillac in her garage, I can't do anything about that. But I still have my feelings on it. And my feelings are, all boys are evil. All boys are dirty. All boys are perverts. I was a boy. I was dirty, evil, and perverted. All I wanted to do was park my car into some girl's garage. As many girls as possible. And that is what puberty is for a boy. Trying to park his car into a garage. And I don't want my daughter to be that garage. I can't do anything about it, but that's just my personal belief. Now, to boyfriends. Um, I've had some very interesting... <laughs> when Samir, she's 14, and Aaliyah is 13. When they were younger, 11 I guess, um, I met one of Samir's boyfriends. And 12. That... She was 12. 12. I met one of Samir's boyfriends. You, and that's the next thing. No, that was that was still toy. Like that was. Anyway, just playing around. I met him and that wasn't. I just in talked to him. In front of her school. Yeah, I, I met him in front of the school and pretty much told him whatever he does to my daughter, I'm going to do to him. And he ran. No, that was Aaliyah's boyfriend. I saw. <laughs> that was Aaliyah's boyfriend when I went. Oh yeah, Sammy's boyfriend. That was not by the school. That he called. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. He could speak to her, and he gave him a speech, and that boy dropped the phone and never called again. No, he called and asked. He if broke he, up with her. He called and he asked if he could speak to Samir. This was the first time a boy has called my house, so I wanted to know who he was where he was from, how he knows my daughter, what is his intentions with my daughter, because he wanted to take my daughter our daughter off for ice cream or something. So before you take my daughter anywhere, anywhere, I need to know who you are and what your plans are. So I asked him these questions. Maybe am I... Angry black dude voice? Am I big guy, angry black boy, boy voice? But I wanted him to understand. The next thing, my number one thing is to let... All these boys know that my daughters have a father who is there and who cares. So they can't just run over my daughter and do whatever they want to do. Because like I said, whatever you do to my daughter, I'm going to do to you. Simple. I don't think that's wrong. I don't think I'm stepping out a lot. I think that is my job as a father. Andrea's job is to be the mother, to listen to the breakups and the heartbreaks. Because that shit's every two weeks somebody's breaking up with somebody. Actually not. What you mean actually not? Who got a boyfriend? And they keep secrets, which I understand that. But in 10 years, when a boyfriend does something to them, they not going to go to her. They should always come to me because I was a boy. I. The hell does that mean? Why are you laughing? Because you make them boys disappear or you make it so uncomfortable that our girls kick him away. How? When did I do that? Remember that little dude who came to Sammy's birthday? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, last year, Samara turned... Not last year. About, what, four months ago? No. Yeah. Yes. Five, Five months, months ago, ago, Samara turned 14, and she wanted to invite her boyfriend over. And he came over. He was a nice dude. Oh. He was so cute. And that's the whole thing. I don't think that I was the problem in that situation. I was never a girl, but I know for a fact that girls don't like boys that their parents like. And my mother was here, and Andrea was here, and they were in love with this little boy. He was cute. He played a played a love song for her some on the piano. Some corny ass shit. Some corny ass shit. But he played it on the piano. Some corny he ass shit. He dressed nice. He looked like a real gentleman, not like one of those ghetto gangs. A real gentleman. He came here, he brought her chocolate and birthday, flowers yeah. and he talked to me he talked he, to everybody he gave each of the grown-ups his hand and say who he is and he and was that, very polite and that was the problem he was too polite and he was too nice and girls in that age don't like that but anyway i'm i, I i'm I, I grow up different i want to know what they're doing but i don't want to see meaning the ones they bring home is the ones they stick with that's not true at all. The ones they bring home is the ones they want you to think that they're with. Then they go out with the other one. That's how I grew up. If you present your family, your boyfriend, this is probably their future son-in-law. And the rest you kind of maybe tell your mother, but 
You do this like your father wouldn't know about it. Yeah, else. and that's the whole thing. I don't need to know about every single boyfriend that every single person has because I know that in this age, nine times out of ten, that shit's not going to stick. When was the last time you see somebody married <laughs> for 30 years? Yeah, we fell in love when we was eight years old. No, the shit don't work like that. It's about trial and error and figuring out in that age what you like and what you don't like. I get that. But I just don't want my daughters to be figuring out what they like and what they don't like while giving every guy access to their garage. I don't think they do that. I don't know. I just hope that they don't do that. They and not, my next thing, raised like that. huh? They're not raised like that. Yes, and they know that they have a father that does that. And I'm not out chasing girls around doing all this stuff. So I should be setting the example, right? Yeah. You are the secret keeper. I'm their mother. Yes, which is okay. But I'm the, I'm the fixer. You think if I hear something that is not all right with me, I wouldn't do some? What would you What would you do? I don't know yet. It never happened. I can tell you yet. I never had the situation where I was like, "Woo!" But Samira's almost sick. See, then comes some woes. Well, she get birth control and then. Speaking of birth control, how do you feel about that? Like she's Samira's never gonna come to you and say, "Hey, mama." She will. No. And this is the make believe world that Andrea lives in, where her daughter is gonna be sixteen years old and feel comfortable enough to to come to her and tell her, "Hey, you know what? I feel like." Letting some guy park his car in my garage. So let me get some um security, please. It's she not will. no, it won't. You went she to will. you went to your parents and told them at sixteen, at fifteen when you started to have sex that you wanted birth control. I didn't go to my mama and ask for condoms. I don't. She thinks like she forgets what it was to be a kid. I don't know if it's, if, if it's no, but I wasn't like this. Like in all the shit you did, I wasn't like this. But you're the unnormal I one. I had my first boyfriend. I was with him for eight years. Yeah, that's not normal. That's not normal. We had our first time together and that was like, that was it. My, my, my parents knew about him and that was it. But that's not how it is. All four of our daughters, our older daughters, we are got not, married later on and are not going to be like that. That's not how it's going to be. Then we divorce and then... And then you met the man of your life. Very so soon, you... you was there, so there was The wasn't... fuck does that mean you was there? Like, I just popped up to deliver some cake or some shit. Like, hey, here's some cake. Oh, okay. No, but I, I changed wasn't her, like... I changed her life for the better and taught her what a man is and how to be loved. That's what I did When I met you. you, you wasn't even a man. You was a little lost dude. I never said that you to help me become a man and better myself and find out the good in myself and bring that out to... Yeah, me. but that's not the point right now. The point is, I was never into... Let's see how many cars fit in my garage. Yes. I'm not saying that our daughter's about... Let's and see. my daughters get raised like that. Yes. You, you don't need to have try out 20 you know, cars to find one you like. Yes. Maybe you have to try out some, but... <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, nobody just have one person in there. But life. I'm just saying that you base your kids off of how you were. And you no, were not... No, I base my kids off on how they act and are. And I'm more worried about... Someone younger than about my bigger ones. Who are you worried about? My big ones are not, I'm not worried. They're not there yet. Who are you worried about? The youngest of our four girls. Antonella. She's very curious and she's dumb. <laughs> I don't mean, I don't mean. <laughs> Gullible. Gullible is a better word. If someone word. promise her something, she believes everything. And, and that's the next curious, thing. she's so. And that's the next thing. When a little boy comes to her and says, oh, you know, I love you. Shotzi. Shotzi is a word that they use in She'll German. She falls for it. She falls for it. And then he'll say some shit like, oh, if you really love me, then you'll show me how much you love me because this right here, this needs to get fixed. And yeah, you know, but she don't have no chance to do that because after school, she goes in the bus, she come home. Oh, Unless they I, bang on the school toilet. I've seen some major, I've done some major things, so. I don't want to know about your bullshit. <laughs> My bullshit. I'm just saying that. I understand that I have daughters and that they will <coughs> want to ride in a few cars and let a couple of cars park in there, but I don't. But my main thing is to let these boys... That was weird. They want to ride a few cars. and <laughs> Ride in a few cars. I don't want to use the actual sexual, sexual terms because that's weird. But I just want these boys to know that they have a father who is there and who cares and will fuck them up. Because... Um, if they know that, I think it'd be a lot easier for them to find a good one. And my next thing is, I don't go, I don't go out of character to any of these boys. I don't act like I'm something that I'm not. I am who I am, and if it scares them, then that's their problem. But I don't think that my daughter should be with anybody who's scared 
to speak up for themselves and to speak to their speak to the girlfriend's father. Because if you have no ill ill intentions with my daughter, then you should be able to talk to me. Like I'm not going out putting guns all on the table, trying to take them hunting or freaking showing them old video. Main, mainly because Germany don't allow you to have guns. If they did, I would have a whole table out here and I would be cleaning my guns every time a boy came here. But that's besides the point. But that's just my job as a father. That's just my yeah, job. Maybe. How many cops that have daughters do you do you think use use their profession to intimidate a boy? Yeah, probably. I don't know. My job is to listen to what they have to say, so I always know what's going on. They trust me. And that's, that's good. my job. And it should always be like that. So and I can react on time. Why you don't give me no room? She like Ugh. No, I'm not. That's how you room. are. <laughs> that's how he is. That's not true. Yes, it is. So overall, guys, um, like I said, we have different opinions, but is it a different op opinion? We or just we have we believe that we have different jobs of how we should handle our daughters and boyfriends. I think my way is to not intimidate the boy, but to let them know that it is a family background with the daughter, with my daughter, that is there to support them, and they just won't walk over my daughter in any type of way. Because what you do to my daughter, I will do to you. And I think that's my job, and I think I do my job good. Now, her job, her job is the confider. They can confide in you. They're supposed to tell you how they feel, what happened, and all that type of stuff. Yeah. I hope so. But I also think in 10 years, I will become... In 10 the, years, I'm probably a grandmother. You will be a grandmother for sure. You Samira will be. is about to be 25 in 10 years. About to be 25 in 10 years. That don't even make no sense. But yes, you will be a grandmother. And then what you gonna do? And then I'm pretty sure that's, I'm their main, they come to me every day. Oh my God, help me with this and help me with this. And you know what my husband did today. And you know what, I, he do this and he do that. How you handle this if Papa do this? Or how did you handle, that's what will happen. But they should come to me because I'm the man. You're the father. Nobody care about your opinion. We'll see. We'll do another... Probably Lorenzo will come to you and ask, how you did that? Nah, don't do it. Lorenzo is a totally different subject. Yeah, boy. Lorenzo is a he totally different subject. On stuff. I just tell him before he go park his car in the garage, make sure he have a car cover on. Yeah, but he want your opinion. Of course. The girls don't want your opinion. But I don't think that they will come to you. Maybe in 10 they years. Will. But in, I don't think Ashley is going to come to you in 3 years if she ready to... She will. I know everything about Ashley's uh, love life. For now. Be, 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 because it won't change. It because will. I don't give her a reason not to trust me no more. I keep my secrets. You the mother. That's the... What fucking secrets you talking about? Everything she tells me. I never disappoint her. So she have no reason not to come to me. Okay. And I think I always give good advices. Advices? Advice. Yeah. Okay, guys, that was our first mother versus father um, video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment below and let us know if you enjoyed this video because I have a few more topics that I would like to talk about. So if you guys enjoyed that, like I said, comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out. It makes my throat hurt. Just the smell of it. He overdid it. I didn't overdo nothing. It's the hot, spicy buffalo wing challenge. Exactly, the hot, spicy buffalo wing challenge, not the commit suicide <laughs> wings challenge. <laughs>